If you want to know about the future of the network, then who better to ask than Marcus Weldon, president of the prestigious Bell Labs. Marcus has just had a book published on the subject, and Telecom TV caught up with him at a signing event here at Broadband World Forum. It's about how networks are converging, so it's a very convenient time to bring out the book, which is no coincidence because we actually decided to release it at Broadband World Forum because it is about the convergence of things. We wrote the book from a non-technical a perspective, so it should be understandable by most people because it's actually a profound transformation we're going to see. There's other elements in there that make it also interesting, which is about the convergence of the cloud in the network. And that's a, another degree of convergence. So cloud used to sit centralized and then network connected to access node. And those were really different uh, domains of the network. But now, one change in the network is we're virtualizing the network to get more scale. And when we do that, we have to move the cloud into the network to run parts of the network. So the cloud and the network are converging. Access technologies are converging and then even IP and optical, which is the, the, the network that connects access and the cloud, they're converging to actually our common management. So the book really is about everything coming and sort of localizing, becoming much more distributed and converge. And that's, a, that's the future X thesis we have. It's aimed at uh, anyone with an interest in the evolution of networks and what they do for people. Because in fact, the first chapter is all about how this could be a technological revolution and, and that may sound a bit boring to some people, but in fact, a technological revolution truly defined means there's a new technology, let's call it the Internet of Things, there's a new network that connects those, that's that converged network, but it has to transform society, that's the definition of a technological revolution. So we're really talking about a change that will allow everything to be automated. Your life will become automated, your work life will become automated by allowing us to connect everything, digitize everything, put digital interfaces on the physical world, which is what the Internet of Things is about, and then intelligent algorithms that will automate the control and movement of those things. So it's really about human transformation, enabled by a network, and, and so there's an interesting human factor story in there as well. There's a chapter on each part of the network. The first one summarizes the whole thesis. So the real story is we're entering an age where society and human life and existence is going to be transformed. And, and imagine this sort of transformation. Today we get overwhelmed by irrelevant information and you hear this talk about big data. But big data is just more noise. But what you'd like in your life is that things intelligently happen just as they're meant to happen. And when they happen, they happen in the perfect way you'd like them to happen. So it's actually about sensing your need, using network information, in other words, where you are, when you are, what environment you're in, etc., who you're with, and trying to automate your existence so things automatically happen. Content is moved to where you are, your connectivity, your set of contacts is adapted based on who's near you, even perhaps your devices, the things you can interact with, are always with you wherever you travel, so you can always be part of sort of a digital physical world. So that's a big story to say that you will live differently. You could exist anywhere and, and start a business. You could have 3D printers print goods for you wherever you are. You could ship a digital good instead of a physical good. So we're building a network that will transform how people live and work and start businesses and run businesses. So that's why we think it's so exciting. And of course, for the details, the spicy details, uh, you'll have to read the whole book, but uh, I think it's a human transformation story, and it's uh, first and foremost, and that's what makes it fascinating.